before I started my fitness journey, I thought the only way to have an amazing body is by doing these very extreme and unrealistic workouts that honestly I could never do because I'm not the most athletic person. <laughs> and by, I don't know, fo following a very strict meal plan only with chicken and veggies and lettuce, salads, whatever. I want to share my tips on how I manage to go to the gym, eat healthy, but also live my life, you know, going out to restaurants, meeting friends and stuff like that, which is the most important. So we're gonna start off with our workout schedule. You need to make your workout schedule around your life and not your life around your workout schedule. So before we do anything is you have to decide how many days you can realistically be hard on yourself, realistically go to the gym and still live your life. For me this is four days a week. I don't go five days a week, I don't get six days a week, this is way too much for me, I still want to have off days, I want to have plans <laughs> without the gym. If you have a very busy schedule, maybe you can only make it three times a week to the gym, maybe sometimes two times, but it's better to only go two or three times and be super, super, I don't know, pushing yourself on those days than falling off all the time because you set up this goal that you're going five times a week and then, then you're never going five times a week and you feel like a failure. Second step is to give Give each day a purpose like for example I have two leg days two upper body days I, I, I want to have all of these days I want to have my two leg days I want to have my two upper body days if I fall off on usually it's an upper body day when I when I can only go three times I usually cross cross up an upper body day although don't get me wrong I prefer working out upper body but I also want to have a nice booty okay <laughs> And when you give each day a purpose, I usually schedule my days, I don't know, let's say Monday you have leg day, Tuesday is upper body, Thursday leg day, Friday upper body. What I can also very very recommend is following a program which I do, I use a fitness app and it tells me exactly on each day what I have to do so I don't have to think about my exercises. I refuse to use an app that I have to pay for um, for the longest time but then I was like, um, we're spending so much money on... <laughs> So many unnecessary things. I'm investing into my health. I decided to purchase an app and I love it. I love it. I have not been training without an app for over a year now. I would never go without an app. Before that I was always going on Instagram, looking up workouts, which workout do I want to do today. And it's so exhausting to always look for a new workout. Also you're not probably, you're maybe not making enough progress because the Instagram workouts are not on um, progressive overloading. And the last tip for your workout schedule that I want to give you is to work out in a way that is fun for you. I personally, I don't like to do cardio, okay? <laughs> I know that cardio has a lot of benefits and I do walk my dog. Honestly, I I am okay with walking. Other than that, honestly, I don't have the time to do anything more. I don't want to do anything more. I don't want to do intensive hit training. I don't want to do jumping exercises in my training. I don't want to do jumping squats. I don't want to do jumping split squats, whatever. Not for me. Not for me. If I hate an exercise, I'm just not doing it. Well, that's a lie, okay? I mean, there are certain exercises that I just, I don't know, you have, you always have to make sure how you feel best. For example, I don't do the hex squat machine ever. I just don't like it. I prefer doing a barbell squat. Maybe you do prefer the Smith machine. You can also always, you know, um, switch things out. I do not like to do hip thrusts, okay? I do not. But they are necessary. This is not an exercise that I will ever switch out. Next big step is eating healthy. Eating healthy is probably the hardest part for pretty much everyone. Working out, working out is easy. You know, you go to the gym, work out, fine. Eating is the one because you're not done in like one hour, two hours like you're at the gym. No, eating is the entire day and it can be exhausting. My biggest tip for making sure that I eat healthy for me personally, because it works for me, is to meal prep. And with meal prepping, I don't mean these excessive meal prepping videos that you maybe see somewhere. There's also something called flexible meal prepping where you only prep the main ingredients and then you switch it out switch it out and then you switch it up during the week and make different meals so maybe if you get bored of eating one meal this is a great alternative because you have everything prepped and then you just combine it in a different way that's what I want to say but I love to meal prep because then I don't have to think what I want to eat I don't have to rely on cooking in the evening because it's already prepped I make sure that I'm eating healthy and I don't know it just works for me you can meal prep for two days three days whatever works for you but 
when I'm cooking, I make at least enough food for two days, at least for two days. That's a big tip for me. Another one is to find meals that you enjoy. For me, one of my favorite meals to ever eat <laughs> is bolognese. Bolognese or chili, I love it. I love it so much. I'm not the type of person that likes to eat a plain chicken with broccoli and rice, okay? I don't do that. I like to make an exciting chicken with a crust on top or a nice sauce, teriyaki chicken, something like that. I'm, yes, this, this is what I would eat. I need a sauce. I need something that Exciting. I don't care how how you describe eating healthy. I always have a sauce or I have ketchup or something with it or other sauces. I make a dressing, I put cheese on top. Also, a good idea is to have your staple meals. If I don't know what to cook, usually I'm gonna make bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm fine. And the best thing about bolognese, you only need one pot and you can freeze it. You can freeze it and then take it out when you don't have anything to eat. But the most important thing, how do you balance going to the gym, eating healthy and maybe your other lifestyle, which can be going to clubs, drinking, eating in a restaurant, whatever you want to do. I used to do this for the longest time that I would switch around plans, tell my friends that I don't have time because I, I have to work out, I have to go to the gym. And don't get me wrong, going to the gym, you can make it a priority, which is amazing, but you know, sometimes more important things are coming around. Now I'm more flexible with moving days around. For the longest time, I did this rule where I was like, like, I'm gonna eat healthy throughout the week and then on Saturday I have a cheat day. Maybe this works for you, it worked for me, it doesn't work for me now anymore because then I got very stressed all the time when there were plans during the week because I'm having my cheat meal on Saturday. And sometimes I didn't want to skip on my cheat meal on Saturday because it's like something that I enjoy. So it would stress me out if I, I don't know, had something unhealthy during the week. It, let's say you're at work, okay, someone has birthday. Oh, there's a cake, okay. Now you're eating cake. You still want to have your cheat meal and maybe on Sunday you're visiting your family and they're also making, you know, not the healthiest food. And the way I do it now is I don't count in one cheat meal or one cheat day. The less rules that you make, the better it is for yourself. If you're cutting out specific foods, you're making it harder for yourself, you know what I mean? Because when you cut out a certain food, like let's say you're cutting out pasta, um, you're gonna crave it a lot. <laughs> so my approach is I don't cut out any food, ever. I pretty much eat whatever I wanna eat and this is honestly the best thing I've ever done because I don't have any cravings really. I, I still have my cheat meals on Saturday, I still have them. But now what I like to do is if I'm craving, let's say nachos during the week, I'm just gonna have a bowl of nachos in the evening. I was eating healthy all day, I was eating healthy all day, I'm gonna have nachos in the evening. Still have my cheat meal on Saturday and still maybe have what another meal on Sunday, I don't care. I don't make an 80-20 approach, like not in my mind. When I give it numbers, it becomes toxic, at least for me. I just make sure I'm eating healthy most of the time, whatever most of the time is. Sometimes there are gonna be weeks <laughs> where you're not going to be super on track, okay? My food, my food, my nutrition has been bad sometimes, okay? I've had weeks where I had an entire week of takeout. I was eating burgers, I was eating pasta, I was eating pizza, <laughs> all in the same week, okay? What happened? Okay, we're worried my battery died. <laughs> I think what I wanted to say was that when I fall off and I am not eating super healthy for one week and I freak out a little bit because we all do that, okay? If you're eating out a lot, you get maybe a little bit more bloated and you don't feel as good or whatever. We all have been there. Maybe you're also getting a period <laughs> and everything combined, you know? And then you're like, oh my gosh, I gained weight. So what I would like to tell myself is I didn't get the body that I have now in one week or in two weeks even. So so I'm also not gonna lose it in one or two weeks, which always calms me because I have my phases where I couldn't go to the gym for, for example, now in January, I wasn't at the gym for two weeks, over two weeks actually. I just try really hard to listen to my cravings and my hunger cues and it has become better over time. This also takes time. One thing I maybe want to say is because in the beginning I was like, you know, when terms like intuitive eating or something came up or just eating whatever you want, I was like, if I was eating whatever I wanted, I would just eat McDonald's 
7. That's not true actually. <laughs> because if I think about it, if I'm having McDonald's, I, I remember I had McDonald's at lunchtime and I was feeling so sick afterwards. I was feeling so tired, I wasn't feeling good. So no, why would I want to eat that every day? Don't get me wrong, I love McDonald's. I love McDonald's more than anything, okay? But I, no, I wouldn't want to eat it every day. Sometimes I just crave a really nice, you know, like a poke bowl or something like that and I would brush <laughs> I would much rather eat this instead of having a burger because I don't restrict myself of these foods if I want to have a burger I'm gonna have a burger but I don't want to have one every day because usually I do not feel the best after it honestly I also do not feel the best after eating a pizza do I still love it yes because it tastes amazing the most important thing is to not stop living your life because you want to go to the gym you want to eat healthy and achieve your goals you still I don't know you still can have in summer you want to have barbecues and then there's Christmas coming around and you want to have cookies and then there's a birthday and you're gonna have alcohol you can do everything everything and still go to the gym and still smash your goals smash your workouts like these things don't stop you if you're seeing girls online that have an amazing stomach like a very flat stomach uh, abs number one these photos usually are taken very posed maybe they're edited they are taken when they are not eating and to have abs and to have a very flat stomach you also need to have a very low percentage of fat some people just store less fat in their stomach area okay you also have to look at the people that have flat stomachs they're usually very very skinny that is because they are Probably, I'm just assuming in general, I don't know, okay, but assuming they are eating probably very healthy, probably maybe not enough food, they're also probably exercising, so you know, there are certain people that want to be strict with it. There are certain people that do this as work. There are people that go on a stage and present their body for these bikini competitions or whatever. If this is your goal, maybe you need to be a little bit stricter. But I can gladly say this is not a goal of mine. I don't care. I don't care if I don't have to flat a stomach. I just want to be happy. I just want to be healthy. And I want to have my pizza. I don't want to go to the gym for hours and hours. I want to enjoy going to the gym. I do it because I want to do it and not because I have to do it. I'm just moving my body, fueling it with amazing food and then having pretty much also whatever I like. I don't want to say that people online or that people that do fitness content don't enjoy their life but I feel like there's maybe more pressure to have a certain body because obviously this is their work. Your work is not to be a fitness influencer or a model or whatever and look perfect, you know, I mean Nobody looks perfect, but you know. I just always remind myself that it is okay to not have a super flat stomach and I'm gonna be bloated and maybe I don't have abs and I have a little bit of rolls and whatever. It is so much better <laughs> to have maybe not the flattest stomach, but to still enjoy the life that you want to enjoy. And I'm not saying that you cannot enjoy your life and have a flat stomach at the same time. I think what I want to say is I would rather eat a little bit more unhealthy or a little bit have a more flexible lifestyle and not have a flat stomach. I'm not blessed with one, okay? And if you're also not blessed with one, it's also okay. Find a balance that makes you happy to not stop living your life. Please go and go and visit your family, eat the food that you want, make your cookies or whatever it is that you do enjoy. Life is about enjoying it. Okay? You do not enjoy your life if you're just going to the gym and eat healthy very, very strictly. I think the balance between both is what makes you happy. Best thing about the gym is that I have so much food freedom and that I can eat pretty much whatever I want and that I can have my whatever cheat meals whatever you want to call it and still look amazing I hope this helped I hope this made any sense I don't know I feel like I just rambled on and it didn't really come across the way I wanted it to please subscribe if you want to see more videos and give the video a like if you enjoyed it and other than that thank you so much for watching and I hope to see my next video